let's go ahead and talk a little bit about private cloud, hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, and standard cloud, okay? Well, standard cloud, I, standard cloud, I'm just calling uh, public cloud at the moment, right? Azure, AWS, GCP, because that's, you know, there's, there's like government cloud and there's public cloud and there's private cloud within each, but I feel like everybody just knows the cloud as, you know, one of these major providers. Private cloud is when you are building a cloud-like environment on-prem in your environment. So for example, OpenStack, right? OpenStack, when you look at the OpenStack UI and you know, you've connected everything properly, you can create VMs and you have all your storage there and all your networking and all that stuff. But underneath the hood, it's everything that's running in your data center. So when you see all the storage in OpenStack, it's your SANS, okay? So that's private cloud. You're building your own cloud. Now let's take more time to talk about hybrid cloud and multi-cloud. So I'm gonna start with multi-cloud. Multi-cloud is using more than one cloud and its services for one purpose. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, let's say I am building out a Kubernetes architecture. I wanna run on GKE, Google Kubernetes Engine, okay? So that's GCP, Google Cloud Platform. But then I'm thinking to myself, okay, so I'm gonna run Kubernetes there, but I don't really wanna do the RBAC thing with you know the standard Kubernetes object or kind for RBAC. Instead, I wanna be able to manage RBAC uh, a little bit more at scale, okay? So I look at a couple options and I look at GCP's options and I say, okay, yeah, they have an IAM option, blah, blah, blah. But for whatever reason, you know, maybe my organization is just so used to Active Directory. Active Directory has been the de facto standard in authentication authorization for a very long time. Okay, so maybe they say, you know what? All right, let's use that. So we're going to use Azure Active Directory or AD. I think it's called Entra now or Entra, E-N-T-R-A. So we say, okay, we're going to use Azure's version of Active Directory. What I can do then is for all of my authentication and authorization, authentication is logging into the platform, getting into the platform, authorization is what you can do once you're logged in, right? So authentication and authorization. I'm going to use Azure's version and I'm going to connect it to GKE, which is totally possible. You can absolutely 100% do that. So that is multi-cloud, using more than one cloud for you know, one purpose, okay? Now, one thing that I will bring up is a lot of people want to go the multi-cloud route because they're thinking about scalability. Now, be careful with this. And the reason why I say that is because I've seen this before. People say, okay, I want to go, you know, GCP and Azure, and they spin up, you know, a couple of different services and have them interconnected and everything. But guess what? They put them in the same region. So both are in, you know, US East 1. Well, guess what? If one goes down, because they're in the same region, they're in, you know, they could either be in the same location because some of the cloud providers actually share locations or they're at least in the same area. And therefore, guess what? Both are gonna go down, okay? So typically when people are thinking about scalability with multi-cloud, what, what I've noticed, Lisa, and of course there are so many different pieces to the puzzle here, right? I'm just going off of, you know, what, what I've worked on. Usually people instead want multi-region, okay? So instead of, you know, using multi-cloud, maybe you're going to use AKS and you're going to put one cluster in US East 1 and one in US West 1, okay? Or, or East 1, West 1, you know what I mean? That way you're doing multi-region. It's on, you know, two different sides of the world and or two different sides of the US rather. And if one goes down, you move the traffic to the other one, okay? So now let's talk about hybrid cloud. What's hybrid cloud? Well, hybrid cloud is you have an on-prem environment Right? Maybe you're running Kubernetes or whatever you're running on-prem. And you say, you know what? I want to be able to also use the cloud. Okay? So maybe you have an on-prem environment for something around compliance. You know, maybe you need to have certain pieces of data or database or clusters or whatever on-prem for, you know, for the main purposes. But you also know that public cloud is readily available and it's super useful. And maybe there are even some services that you want to use in the public cloud. So what you could do is you could actually set up bursting. So what bursting means is, let's say you're running a Kubernetes cluster or again, whatever you're running on-prem and from a scalability perspective or a HA high availability or a disaster recovery perspective, whatever, you wanna be able to, let's say something happens to this data center, burst, send all of your workloads to the cloud. 
you can do that. And there are a bunch of different ways to do that. There's a lot of interconnected VPNs that you can utilize. Pretty much every cloud provider has their own way of doing VPN between locations. And there are actual products that help with this. So for example, in the Azure space, there is Azure Local, which used to be called Azure Stack HCI. Just to recap here, hybrid cloud, connecting public cloud and on-prem, multi-cloud, using more than one cloud provider for one particular purpose. Well, I mean, also for multiple purposes, but you know what I mean. You have an application stack, you have your architecture, and you're using multiple clouds to make it all come together. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thanks.